gonna be doing a little vlog for you today. It's the night before, basically I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. But I just wanted to um, talk about this um, gratitude diary, which I try and fill out every night and every morning. And it really, really helps me um, implement a positive mindset and just helps me go into a day with focus and positivity so I thought I'd share you share with you it's called the six minute diary yeah so I've just wrote in my segment for tonight and then tomorrow morning I'll wake up I put it by my bed by the side of my bed and the first thing I do is write in that so I'm gonna go go to sleep now and I will see you in the morning Everybody always asks, not everyone, who do you think you are, Imogen? <laughs> a couple of people ask what kind of things I eat on like a day-to-day -day basis for weight loss. Um, and breakfast, I pretty much eat the exact same thing every day, unless I'm g I have like a bagel with like a sausages on, or shreddies, chocolate shreddies are the one when I'm feeling like in a chocolatey mood, then I'll have shreddies. But um, I'm gonna make you my typical, what I eat most of the time, breakfast now. My podcast has just gone live so I'm like I listen to it because I get anxious that I have not edited it properly even though I've watched it five billion times <laughs> nearly finished my breakfast I made it um, slightly different this morning because I added um, cacao nibs in and I don't I haven't actually used them before I usually well we used to get the ones from Aldi but then I noticed on my vegan, they do cacao nibs on there. So I was like, obviously I'm going to use them because I've got a code and this is the code. So why wouldn't I use them? Um, yeah, this is a pretty good go-to if you are vegan because this is added up to like 11 grams of protein. And then I'll have like a protein shake as well. So that's like... 40 over 40 grams of protein already you've had in the morning for breakfast which is amazing so i think we're gonna go on a walk now i need to get liam up okay. just about to go on a little walk i like to get my steps in in the morning get it out of the way because if i don't go for a morning Just making wheeze day. Just making my pre-workout concoction. I have a scoop of creatine and a scoop of pre-workout. Um, I find this pre-workout is. I don't actually need that much because caffeine. I'm quite sensitive to caffeine, so I usually do. Like oh shit. <laughs> I just spilled it all. Less than less than a full uh, cup. And I find this vegan pre-workout doesn't make it itchy. Which some pre-workouts, like the protein works, that one makes me itchy. Um, 
some kind of ingredient. I can't remember what ingredient it is that they put in that makes you itchy. The My Vegan one doesn't do that. So we're all good. Um, and this is the flavour I get. Sour apple. It's not focusing. <laughs> Sour apple flavour is my favourite. We are training legs today. I always feel like Miss Trunchable uh, when I've got this hair and I'm training because I just look like Miss Trunchable. Like she's got that like weightlifting belt on, doesn't she? I'm assuming it's a weightlifting belt. It looks like one. Okay, let's go down a train. <laughs> workout is done that was a good session i managed to do as you will have seen 115 kg on hip thrust which is i mean i need to work on my form um i think i might have put both clips in because i did it twice and the first one my form was awful and that's why it's good to record yourself as well because you look you can look back at your form and think wow i didn't remember doing it like that and then you can see what things need working on. Um, I'm so hungry now, so I need some post-workout snacks. And I need to go and have a shower. I stink. So, I've just watched the first two episode, episodes of Gossip Girl and... I don't know what to think about it. Does anyone else watch Gossip Girl? Liam's trying to show off because he's received all his Gymshark stuff. Come on then, let's no, show stop. them. Go on, give stop. us a twirl. Stop. <laughs> no, it's cute, isn't it? Let's see. So you got um, a grey t-shirt and a black... Are we doing a haul? Black shorts. No, we won't do a haul, but it's cute. I like it. Um, Liam's Gymshark, Gymshark, Gymshark sale stuff came. Um, mine's not arrived yet. I'm guessing like the girls stuff is just like madness. So that's probably gonna take quite a few days um, Just put some sausages in for lunch 
need to take my progress pictures. So Liam, can you take my progress pictures, please? On that. Yeah. <laughs> So now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's talk about the progress pictures. So just for reference, this is heading into week five of the 60 day challenge. Okay, I can see a massive, massive change on my back. I feel like my back looks very much more toned than previously. If you look at the image on the left hand side, at the bottom towards my hips, you can see a lot of fat that is on the left image whereas on the right image a lot more trim and you can kind of see my lats starting to fill out the image of my front wow i can really tell on my stomach and i can really tell on my quads i feel like the fat loss on my legs is starting to make my quads um come through and show through there might be a little bit of um improvement on my quad muscle or it might just be that the fat has diminished so then you can see my quads more. This transformation picture definitely shows the transformation on my stomach and on my back. You can definitely tell that there's been some fat loss in that area. You can't really tell much on the arms and the legs do look a little bit slimmer but I feel like the main transformation is definitely around my midriff. Considering this is week five, I can't wait to see the results from week eight and I'm definitely going to be sharing my journey on here. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up with my transformations. The question is, are you a brown sauce kind of gal or a red sauce kind of gal? Oh God. Yum. Linda McCartney's getting my belly now. I'm so predictable. Got a cup of tea and a sausage bagel. <laughs> I feel like I eat these on every single vlog. Because you're so predictable, baby. Ah, lovely. Just had a look at my progress pictures. And I'm actually so happy. So, so happy with the things. I'll put them on the screen so you can actually see them. Um, here's one of them. Focus. I definitely can see a difference. So that's week one versus. Is it four weeks into the challenge? I think it's four weeks. I can't confirm now, do I? It was the 16th, no, not the the 12th of October. And what are we are now? The 16th of November. Because well, that's been going about eight years. So I think it's been four weeks. So that's four weeks progress. Oh, let me just get the other one. Focus. So that's four weeks progress. I definitely see a massive difference already. Liam, do you want to get yours out or are you too shy? No, I'm going to save it for the big finale. Oh, okay. Mm, 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 mm. I'm jumping in here because this is what all the cool kids do when they don't finish off a, a vlog or they want to insert a random clip into their vlog. I am currently editing this video. Hopefully you are, you've enjoyed watching it. Um, I've got more vlogs coming of the transformation po process of over this eight weeks. And I've got so many exciting things coming up. So definitely hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a little like and turn on the notifications so you don't miss an upcoming video as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.